Okay, I'm going to do some whining, crying, and complaining about something. I guess it's just, this was sent to me uh, in a messenger on Facebook. Someone wanted to share this with me. And I just, I hate to do this every time I turn around, I'm doing a video on something like this. But why are companies still conducting business like this? Why can't it be different? I, I For the life of me, I can't figure out why. And don't get me wrong, I'm not stressed out. It's just, I'm, I'm frustrated. I can't figure out why we still have to do this. How does this help the hobby? It's, it's all about greed. And this company is literally owned by someone who's considered an influencer in numismatics. It's government. Okay. You know, I, I just, I don't care about names, but doing business like this, this is says Morgan silver dollars by the pound. Okay. If you do the math, I think it's around 17 Morgan dollars. They're supposed to be in very good condition. You know, you know full pound bags. It's just a pound. Okay, it doesn't tell you anything. You want to call, there's no price. They won't tell you a price. I'll show you, people have tried, and this is, I'll show you their response. But they tell you that you get some free shipping, but then you get some free packets, uh, something like the these coins here. I think it's free with it. And people have asked them how much. It has one review and... The review is a one star, but there's five questions and five answers. And everyone's asking, like, cost of a pound. This item is only available on a call-in basis. Why? Why is the price only available for a call-in? Why? I mean, why can't you just tell people what you're charging for this? Cost. You got to call in. How much for a pound? How many in a pound? Got to call in. What's the cost for one pound? Got to call in. I mean, how is that good for the hobby? How is this? I mean, it's is it good for business? Maybe it is. They got an 1894. Now, an 1894 is a better date. Now, I know in very good, it's not going to be great. But, you know, you're showing a better date there. A 1903S. I, I mean, that's a better date even in low grades. They got the D. But, but why can't they just have the price? I would never do business with, a, with someone who couldn't tell me the price. I just think that I don't know why. Why? It blows my mind that they still do this kind of stuff. I mean, do you care about the hobby at all? I, I, I just, I mean, I look through the site and, and it, it, they've been around for a long time, started by someone who knows coins. I mean, don't we care about coins? The, the, the hobby, don't we care about people and collectors? Why do we have to have something like this? You know, and I'll probably get an email or something. I do every time. I get an email from one of these companies every time about my video. But if you really care about this hobby, let's do it the right way. You'll still sell coins. Literally, you'll still sell the coins. You don't need to do it that way. But there's a reason why they're doing it this way, and it's it's not a good reason. So let me know what you think in the comments. Has anybody bought this? How much did it cost them? You know, let me know. I'm sure it costs probably something different for different people. I almost bet you it does. And then they'll, they'll basically you call them up, and then you're like, eh, I don't want to go that high. And then like, hold on, we'll do the special offer for you. I'm sure that's what it is. And they want to charge you as high as they can unless you start to you know, go back on the deal and then they're going to, I've heard they do that now. Like I said, I can't vouch for it. This is my opinion. Honestly, I just don't agree with, it. I just don't. So thanks for watching my latest video. Please like, share and comment and have a great day.